What is up, people? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Jeb Nadello Official. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now. All right, today we are going to be unboxing a new toy, a new line. This is not from Pop Mart. This is what this is from Fifty Two Toys. 52 toys and he is called Nook the Kid. He has a Hirono vibe. He also kind of looks like some of the... What's his name? The one with the sipon? Achipupu. Yeah, but this one's called Nook the Kid. Ah, and then he is kind and sweet. Aww. The telephone number siya, guys. If you want to call him, 2023-TEL-012345-6789. Okay, and then he has a friend, Kaiga <laughs> Unicorn, it's like a deer, and uh, what's this? Nook Daily Life the Kid. It's nice, because there's like doodles. He likes doodling and making crafts, that's so me. Observing the world, sitting in the corner, oh that's so me. And he has a cat. Let us open it. I wanna keep this because it's kind of nice. I, I really like the box. Okay, this is what's sad because there's only eight. <laughs> Alright, so we have it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the special is up there. I'm not gonna expect this, uh, you know, expecting too much is gonna just give you disappointments in life. So just go with the flow, whatever comes your way, be happy, be grateful. I'm grateful for everything that happens to me, everything that comes my way. I'm very grateful because I am Nook. kind and sweet. Oh yeah. Nook can be your new friend. This is the box, this is how it looks. I like the aesthetic. It's very Hirono, it's very Kubo, right? But this one is the version of 52 toys. Okay, so the line is called uh, the daily, uh, daily Life. Okay, this one's called the Lucky Clover. Okay, of course, it comes with its own clover. Ito lang yung, yung sad with 52 toys. Wala silang perforation. The plastic. Uy! Look at his face. Isn't it neat? Boy! But look at that! Oh my god, it's glass eyes. Just like Hirono. It's like butas, the eyes, and then they place the glass inside and sealed it shut. That is Lucky Clover. Come on. So happy, it's so cute. And they don't come with... Oh, they come with these cards. It's just weird. I don't know what they're for. Maybe we'll try to scan them when we have time. Little Shadow Monster. The Shadow. So cute. I found a new favorite. Ha 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 ha. Hooey! Look at that! This is so cute. This is so cute. Good job, 52 Toys! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you think that's amazing? Doodle time! Ah, this is me. Yeah, he's really like Hirono because these are like boxes rejected boxes and then he he comes with his cat over here oh i got to serve him and he is flock oh my god look at this see that really nice see ah I'm so happy with this i have a new favorite you know what i noticed that i'm inclined mostly on Stuff that looks like this, like Nook, Hirono, uh, Hachipupu, Kubo, uh, Ziga, because he has the vibe of Voodoo. So one day, Voodoo is gonna have his own blind box, and the ones who did not mind Voodoo will remember him. Special Buddy, the cat over here. What's his best friend? I would have liked it better if it was a dog. Because you see, ano, diba? See here, oh, no bear. Yeah. And he has this hand puppet na dinosaur. dinosaur. Yeah. Voodoo has, see trash. 
carrying his pet. Aww. His special buddy. Okay. So nice. So far, so good. Flocked na naman siya. That's the only thing that I don't like with this one. Some of them are flocked. It gets dirty. Whisper. There's a blanket on top of him. Aww. This is so adorable. Star Hunter. Ha! <laughs> Cute! He kinda looks like a no. Uh, the one we buy in Solid Toys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cute. In the rain. I can make it in the rain. Okay. Aww. LA, naka yellow siya. My droplets. My ghost! Ang kanyang bag. Meron siyang bag. Tapos pang keychain niya ghost. And then it comes with like water. Oh my god, this is so nice. 52 ties, you guys are the best. Pasabog kayo, ha? Oh, yeah. I really hope that we can find the... Not the day, the secret. Well, this one's called Sweet Dreams. Very timely, because I need to sleep. Oh, he's sleeping with his unicorn. Aww. And look. It's flopped again. Dirty. My chinelas. Tiny slippers. The possibility of getting lost. <laughs> so, we will put that there. Okay, Mabuluga. Okay. So, there you have it, guys. All eight nooks. We did not get the special, which was like expected. Mindset. But at the back of my mind, it was like, sana, 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 sana. But it's okay. It's okay. You can. You can do away with the special because the special is always expensive, right? But if, when it comes to 52 toys, it's not that accessible compared to Pop Mart. It's kind of difficult because it's like specialty. Pop Mart is very mainstream now. If you miss a regular piece, you can like ask online and ask people if they have extra pieces or you can order it directly. But when it comes to 52 toys, it's not that accessible yet. As of how I notice it now, huh? Um, so at least now we have the complete set of eight. And then if ever, you know, we, we have the budget, we look for the special, which is, I don't know how it looks. But I know that he's like flying with a heart. Aww. It really gives me the same vibe of Voodoo, Voodoo Boy, because he loves hearts. Even if his heart's always broken, or it's always like damaged. And uh, he loves doing this. He loves like putting boxes on his head, like wearing stuff on his head. Even this, he has a friend named Blanky that he's not yet released. We have to like make him sleep for a while because you know it was kind of there's there's some toys that kind of look like him. So it's sad, but you know you cannot claim. Uh, ideas or creative ideas because they will always say that it came from their mind so it's like okay but me i acknowledge that whenever i do toys i get inspiration from other other toys um yeah sometimes it's coincidence that you know a, a certain toy will look like your toy especially your toy if you're well it's, it's sad when your toy hasn't been released yet but you released a photo of its prototype or you displayed the prototype and then months later here comes a toy that kind of looks exactly like your toy uh, well you cannot claim because they can just change the shape but the same concept is there well I guess it's just a matter of conscience I guess right like me if I get inspiration for for voodoo um, I acknowledge like, there was a time that when Hirono was released, the striped shirt of Hirono and the oversized fit of the shirt, I, I've never seen Hirono, but 
when I when I drew I sketched Voodoo in 2009, that was his shirt already, the stripe red striped shirt with a off shoulder because it's loose, it's oversized. But sometimes it's just coincidence, and it really really pays off if you have the budget, if you have the means, you have the machinery to produce these toys in a snap, right? Because you know you get to release them first. But with, with small time uh, toy makers like us, it takes so much money, it takes so much effort and time and everything just to produce a toy. Um, so I'm very, very happy for those who have been tapped by big companies to, uh, for them to produce their toys. But also it comes with risks because sometimes these companies uh, only think of business. So they can produce the toys on their own, just tweak it a little bit, change the color or change the piece or change uh, how it looks, then they can sell it um, under another name or at a cheaper price. But technically the money still goes to them because it's theirs, right? So yeah, uh, being artists, being toy artists or creators or, or um, you know designers, it comes with a lot of risk. A lot of risk, a lot of heartbreak. A lot of frustrations and I know all the artists who are watching right now can relate to what I'm saying um, you have so much ideas but you don't have the means you have limited means you have so much ideas but because you have limited means you cannot like produce it in an instant but here comes other people who have the means but no ideas and in the end they just steal your design and claim it as their own so it's kind of sad but that's life. That's how the world works. Reality check. Um, and I'm not saying or discrediting the fact that I also get inspiration from other toys. So uh, that's, I guess that's just how things work. You do not, no, nobody has an original idea, right? So uh, yeah, I just, I think the only, the best thing to do is to, to acknowledge that you were inspired by this, you were inspired by that. You took ideas from this, you took ideas from that, and you know, points here and there. And acknowledge it. It doesn't make you less of an artist. It makes you more of an artist because you were given an idea, you were given an inspiration, and yet you worked around it, you developed something different, you created something new, and you made it your own. So, uh, I think that's a lot of things to learn, right? We got a lot of nuggets again today. So uh, yeah, to, to those artists, it's okay to feel bad if somebody uh, beat you ahead of you, yeah. beat you uh, in the finish line, but it's okay. The, the, the race isn't over yet. It's, it's never a race, actually. Uh, it depends on your purpose as an artist. If you create these toys because you just love to create, you just love um, to make beautiful things, you want to create and you want to make an outlet for your creativity, then good. And of course, money is important, you know, it, it, it's the reality of everything. Everybody wants money because we live because of money, right? We cannot buy these things, we cannot eat well, we cannot have homes, we cannot have clothes without money. But, uh, you know, it kind of lessens the blow if it's not your priority, right? So, uh, if you're a true blue artist or true-blooded artist, um, just create. Create and create and create. If it works, good. If not, at least you made it, right? Because there are other people na parang mm, kaya ko din yan, di ba? Kaya ko din yan. I can make that as well. But did you? You did not, all right. So to all the aspiring artists, just create, all right. If it doesn't look good, it's okay. Develop it. I have so many toys there that I haven't released yet because for me. I think they're not ready yet. For me, they can still be developed. So uh, just keep on doing it. Um, and be very careful. Be very careful with whom you share your ideas with or you show your ideas with. Um, actually, it's a trick sometimes for me. It's a trick that I will make that something like really unique and then I will show people and then eventually if it kind of leaks or it comes out in another toy and that person claims it and I know that I showed that toy to, to that person then you will know their real uh, personalities right?
So sometimes you just have to, you know, sacrifice some designs. But that's not the priority. Just let it be. Let them, you know, let them live their own lives. Live our lives. Let's make nice toys, right? So again, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is uh, Nook from uh, 52 Toys. Thank you very much, Micro, for helping me out with this uh, particular line. This is my first line, first Nook line. And um, I think I am going to be home with this one because he is very much like Voodoo Boy or Voodoo. All right, so um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, if you haven't subscribed to Jed Madela Official, please do subscribe. I also have a uh, toy channel. It's Jed's Loot Box, but it's kind of overfilling with so much videos already. <laughs> so uh, we are going to be, uh, you know, sharing videos between Jed's Loot Box and Jed Madela Official. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next vlog.